Hello everyone, Coder Rob here for EverQuest Next uh, Landmark. Here to show you some more advanced building techniques today. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests for furniture of all things. Everyone liked the bookcase uh, video and how to make iron gates. And I've been getting a lot of requests for more furniture. So what I'm going to show you today is a simple bench and an uh, ornate bed. Okay. So we're going to start with the bench and what I've done already is I've stacked five boxes high and I did it one box off the ground and then I also put two individual boxes just floating in space here and if this box looks smaller than the other box it's because it is. Um, what I went ahead and did is um, I shrunk this box one time and you may hear the term shrinking a box or micro boxes and what they're referring to is a box that has been shrunk, in effect, by being smoothed. And you do that by cr um, selecting around the box a minimum of one space in every direction. And once you have that in place, then you're actually just smoothing it. And every time you smooth it, it gets a little bit smaller. Well, I'm going to smooth this one uh, three times. So this one smoothed once, this one three times. So to start with with the bench we're going to lay down a cushion just so I have an idea of how big I'm making this. And that's just going to be a guide. Now I'm going to select my post And I'm going to start pasting that around the uh, pillow. So I'm going to start here. Now on the corner I'm going to come up one. And from here on over I'm going to stay up one from the ground. Because that in fact is going to be uh, the leg of it. Now I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm only going to do half this, but you see I have a space below here, which is where the leg would be. Then I'm going to remove um, some material between what would be the legs over here. So I'm deleting two boxes. Alright, um, so this needs a place to sit. So I'm going to go ahead and build that too and you can use the add tool or you can use the selection tool but I'm going to come off the ground three and I'm going to draw just one box high and I'm going to use my add tool so in effect we we have half a bench and I came up too high on that I came up four so I undid that I'm going to redo it one two three Add tool. Alright, so let's look at the one I've done. You notice the armrests are tapered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select select the uh, box that's been shrunk three times. I'm going to do a control C to copy it. And then I'm going to do a control V to paste. And I'm going to place it right where the existing armrest is. And once I have it there, I'm just going to click, and that's going to replace that full size box with a micro box. And I'm going to do that across the whole length of the armrest so that it has a tapered look there. Now that I have that, I'm also going to apply the same effect to the back of the bench. Just try and get my box in place. I'm going to run along the whole top of this bench here. All right, so um, already it's beginning to look very similar. Um, at this point, I'm going to select the box that I've only shrunk once. And this one is going to be the end of the armrest. 
And it's also going to make up the legs and it's going to be the top post here. So I'm going to do a control V and first I'm going to place it where the legs are. There's the front leg, there's the back leg. Now I'm going to bring it straight up from there and I'm going to do this corner post and then I am going to run it to the front of the armrest a little bit beyond the bench because the armrest is going to come out some. And there we go. We have half of a bench built. So if you want to take the time and do a whole bench, you can. Um, I typically only build half of anything. Uh, w for one, it takes less time. Um, for two, I, whenever I built a whole object, quite often I don't get both sides looking identical. And I end up doing a copy and paste anyways, and so it just saves time. So I have my bench highlighted. I'm going to do a control C, escape to get rid of my selection tool. And I'm going to do a control V to paste it. And um, apparently it also selected the pillow, which is very odd. So I'm going to have two pillows down here. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the V key, which will make this a mirror image. And it also flipped it in a weird angle. So now I have to rotate it. and line it up with the other bench, the other half of the bench. Okay, that looks good there. And there I have a full bench. So if you want, you can add copper or gold paint. Give it some highlights. And since I have two pillows down here, I can just select one and tell it to move. Put it in position. Now that's funny, I lost one of my pillows. So I only have one here. Um, I'm going to actually, um, for the back here, instead of doing another curvy pillow, I'm going to do one of the rustic pillows. Give it a little bit different look. And there you have it. So when you have something built like that, don't forget to make it into a template so you don't have to keep rebuilding them. Every time you need one, you just slap another one down. So onto the bed. I deleted the benches so they don't distract from what we're doing. And I also added an additional box to this post. So this should now be six high. And it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this post by padding um, a minimum of one box in every direction around it and then using the shrink or the smooth tool. And I'm going to do that three times and I don't have that placed right. Hold on one second. I gotta move this over one. Try it again. All right, you can go thinner if you want. Um, for this one, I think I actually did four times. It really depends how thick you want your bed post to be and your frame to be. So let's look at the bed real quick. So if you look here, we have one, two, three, four, probably five boxes high there. Probably have five or six boxes high here. And then the frame is only two boxes high. I know it looks smaller than two boxes, but you got to realize these are shrunken boxes. So I'm going to start with the frame, and I'm going to grab all six of these, and I'm going to do a control C, and I'm going to paste control V. Now, one thing you want to do again is you probably want to lay down a pillow and kind of get a judgment for how big this is going to be. And 
And obviously this pillow is going to be mattress size. So that kind of gives us an idea of what we have to build for. So I'm going to go back now. We have the post. Now we're going to build this part of the frame here. So I'm only going to grab two of these this time. Too high. Too high. Do a control C, copy. Come over here. I'm going to paste it right next to it. I'm going to continue all the way across. And I'm going to paste it one off the ground. So the only tricky part with any of this is getting it lined up. And it, it's usually a good idea to line it up where you your last one was. And so I can see now that that's where the bottom of the last one is. I'm one up. And now I'm one over. So I'm going to paste. I'm going to keep pasting. Now sometimes it moves on you. It goes up or a different direction than what you're using the arrow to do. And you have to put it back in place and just continue. All right, so right there I'm ready for the actual corner post. So I'm going to grab all six again. Copy. Come over here, paste. This one's going to touch the ground. All right, and I'm going to continue this one on across, moving forward from where I'm standing. And this is going to be the headboard. Now, obviously I made this headboard over here different, but that's one of the beauties. You don't have to make things the same as me. You know, put your own style on it. Um, try something new. So I'm going to do the side again over here. I'm only, only going to select two. I'm going to paste it right next to this corner and one off the ground. So I line it up on the corner, move it one up, and using the arrows, move it off this direction. All right, I don't have to do any more than that. So there are things we can do to make it look more like a bed. Um, we can make the post bigger up here. And I'll do that by selecting the bigger shrunken box. I'm going to place it right on top of this one. There we go. Now I'm, now I'm sure I'm there. Okay. So you can continue this on. Um, on the one I did over here, I did kind of some wings coming off the side. That would just be more of these boxes, but not as high up going back. Uh, I also added a little bit of taper. That would be a single box. Let me show you that real quick. A single shrunken box. Taking that. And instead of placing it right on top of this, I'm going to place it one up and one to the right of it. So first thing I'm going to do is line it up exactly on it. Now I'm going to go one up and one to the right. And then I'm going to just keep moving that forward. Yeah, flux with me. So just uh, more patterns that you can do. It makes it look more like a sleigh bed when you do it that way. So I got enough of the bed done that I can go ahead and reproduce this. So I'm going to select half my bed. Make sure I got it all. Control C. 
Now if you've ever done a control C to copy something and it didn't copy, it's because your mouse isn't over the object. If your mouse is over here and you control C, it doesn't copy the object. You have to have your mouse over it. Paste, V to flip, I'm sorry, V mirrors. Now I have to flip it and line it up with the other one. Boy, that looks close. I can't tell. Yep, I think I got it. So there you go. There's your bed. It's just a matter of moving your mattress in place. Um, maybe make your mattress a little bigger. Adding more pillows. You can add some ornate designs. You can add the gold trim, or in this case, copper. I use copper a lot because it's easier to get than gold. And there you go. Happy, happy building, everyone. Hope to see you again soon.